Меня зовут Алексей, АК Флорида Трейдер с Бенин Стакру. Мы возьмем интервью с Тимоти Сайксом и задаем несколько вопросов. Hey, Tim, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, first, uh, thank you for this conference. Uh, very interesting. Uh, so many information, so many uh, stuff to do. So thank you so much. Cool. My pleasure. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I have a couple of questions uh, about like uh, how not to force trades. How not to force trades? Like if like boring or something. So I like to think of myself as a retired trader. You know, like I don't want to trade. I'm, I'm living life. I'm retired. But if there's a trade that's good enough, like for all the indicators, it's like an earnings win, its stock is breaking out to new highs, there's volume, I think that it can run for a few days, that takes me out of retirement. Mm -hmm. and because I, feel, I would feel too guilty missing this trade. So if you think like that, you know, you're like, oh, this is a decent trade, no, I'm retired, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. That way you focus on only great trades. Most of my best students make like 80, 90% of their money off like five or 10% of their trades. So if you can be choosier with your trades, you'll probably be more successful. Oh, okay. So you more mostly focused on the, the best uh, setups. Yeah, exactly. Like gimme. Someone someone emailed me. They're like, Tim, like you make money off these gimme's. You should be ashamed. And I'm like, no. Like I want to focus on gimme's. I don't want hard trades. And also, I travel a lot. That helps too. You know, I like to travel not just for fun, but it helps me not trade as much. So you need to like control your addiction. We're all addicts, so I have to be you know very controlled. Sorry. All right. So, and uh, about this question, when you will go to Russia again? Like, so, I have one student, plans? yeah, I have one student who wants to, uh, wants me to train him personally, so I'm talking with him probably in the spring or the summer of 2014. I'm oh. pumped, I, I need some more yeah, beluga. Exactly, I need man, some more just, beluga and caviar. Yeah, caviar, like girls in yeah. the Red Square. Yeah, exactly. Some beers. Yeah, you know? that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll yeah. let you know. Yeah, and uh, last question, do you have any advice for like uh, Russian language? Uh, you know, traders for us, like... Uh, um, I mean, I like that the Russians are so greedy. Like, it's, it's good. You guys are really greedy. We are, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Do we have a... You greedy Russians. <laughs> um, it's good. I'm part Russian, too, so I'm greedy, too. Uh -huh. um, you know, I, I would just say, really, you know, focus on, on growing your account gradually. Instead of, like, thinking, like, yeah, I did turn a few thousand into a few million in a few years. But don't think about, like, making millions. Focus on like if you're starting with five thousand, how do you go from five to ten? The same thing that will go from five to ten will take you from like a hundred to two hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, so focus on increments. Too many people think that it's like, you know, they, they want to make millions all at once, and that's just not possible. You, mm -hmm. I don't recommend a hundred to one leverage. Yeah. If you can grow your account, so let's say if you have a five thousand dollar account, you try and grow on one trade. Let's say you invest like three thousand, you try and make like five hundred. Mm -hmm. Then your next trade, you invest thirty five hundred, you try and make six hundred. So overall, you're growing your account from 5,000 to 5,500 to 6,100, mm -hmm. and gradually. That's gradually. how my best students have done it. You know, Tim Bertani makes an average of $800 a trade, and he's taken 13,000 and turned it to 800,000 in two years. So if you focus on those increments, it might not sound as exciting, but it can pay off, you know, within a few years. Yeah, step by step. Yeah, because we are sometimes we are very greedy and we try to do you like need to control one your trade greed. and like all oh, like 100%. This is not like drinking beluga, you know? Like yeah. beluga, you just keep drinking <laughs> until you pass out. Uh -huh. With this, you don't just trade until you get to zero. Like you have to be a little more responsible. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can do that, you grow your account and you know, you'll be surprised. Within a few years, you'll be like, okay, looking back, you'll see exactly how you take 5,000 and turn it into like 100,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you for this yep. advice. No problem. Very nice conference. So thank you so much, Tim. Cool. Nice to Thanks. Meet you. Spicy ball! <laughs> Woo!